the education system of Germany. This is elementary school. It is where it all begins. We have four years usually in elementary school and this school is called Grundschule. Grund means kind of reason, but also it means basic. So it is basic school. You could also say elementary school. Now, then something really magic happens. It's actually not really magic and it's also rather harsh because it divides now the people who only spent four years in school into three different tiers. And these three different tiers now determine mainly what you are able to do in terms of your job and your life. These three different tiers now are Hauptschule, Realschule und Gymnasium. So we have Hauptschule translating to main school, which is basically, you could say, the continuation kind of, of elementary school. If you are a little bit better in terms of grades, you can upgrade to Real, Realschule, which is which used to be sometimes in the past or sometime in the past, also sometimes be called Mittelschule, which literally translates to middle school. And then we have Gymnasium, which is pronounced differently, but it is the same word that is also used for gyms actually in English. So it's gym, Gymnasium or Gymnasium. So now these have different lengths. So here we have four. The first four years are spent in elementary school or Grundschule. Now Hauptschule has five additional years, totaling in nine in total. So Realschule or middle school in comparison has 10 years in total and the Gymnasium has 12 years in total. Now because Hauptschule had a really bad name over the past. There was a rebranding made, which now confuses not everybody anymore, but it is just weird. And it was also weird and it is, was also very controversial. But the word Hauptschule or the word for the students or pupils there, which is Hauptschüler, so students of Hauptschule, was just kind of a had already a negative association with it, usually. Not usually, but for this reason, to get rid of the negative connotation, they rebranded this school. And it is now called the middle school, Mittelschule. So now we have former Hauptschule, which is now Mittel school, or Mittelschule, or middle school. And then we have the actual middle school, which is still usually called Realschule. And by the way, Schule just means school. I just use this word all the time. And then we have Gymnasium. Now, in terms of the Gymnasium or Gymnasium, there was also a change made a few years back. So, depending on the states in which you lived in, Baden-Württemberg, for example, or Bavaria, or Brandenburg, <laughs> uh, you would have different years of Gymnasium. And what they did is actually they got rid of a little bit of the stuff here and the fluff and they reduced the 13 years to 12 years. And now you could say that it is quite harsh because you only have people here for four years. Now this <laughs> discussion of when to separate people into different classes, you could say, into different educational classes is of course a very complicated and also very controversial issue. The reasons that might be for separating people out already is that maybe intelligence or this might be one of the reasons why this school system exists. This might be that intelligence is maybe rather fixed and therefore influencing a lot of other factors and by separating these out you are essentially increasing the efficiency. Let's just think of someone in this school visiting this school for example. Now. There, there is just a distinction that is made and this distinction is made already and therefore it's not made by me. I'm not the evil one here. So I'm, a, I'm just trying to explain the system here. So if you had somebody who is in this school or in this school or in this school and you would just mix them all together, of course you have different learning speeds. And if you just assume the learning speed of 100 in the middle, and then some people would have a little bit of a slower learning speed, maybe on average, and some people might have a higher learning speed. 
what would happen if you throw them all into one given a fixed amount of class sizes or a given class size is that you would just decrease overall learning efficiency. Why? Because if the learning, so basically the teaching speed of a teacher is the thing that determines basically how much is talked through in a certain lesson, in a given lesson. Now, if people from here are in the same room as these people from here, then these people from here, just again assuming, would have a, a slower learning speed than people from here. So now the question is, would this be fair? Would it not make more sense to separate these people out from us from a slower learning speed and teach them individually? And these people from here and teach them individually. So not only would the people on the lower side of the maybe intelligence spectrum or the learning speed spectrum be taught better because they actually would understand more, but also the other people would also be treated similarly. There is an argument I recently heard that everybody cares about people, not specifically in the German system, but people care a lot about people who are falling behind. But what about all of the people who are not falling behind? Why don't they get specific needs? Of course, you could argue that they already have more luck in terms of their genetics and so on and so forth. But now let's end the discussion on intelligence, basically. There is something else, another layer. And this is where we need page two. If you visited Hauptschule, the usual path for you would be basically to get then into your job right away and to then maybe have three years of education, of practical education, and to then basically already be working. Now, if you are in Realschule, there are also things you can do right away, like getting into second page, studying and university. So basically, and also getting into a job. Basically, the system kind of determines that the people who are in Hauptschule should be the ones that get more practical jobs. The people in the middle can kind of choose, not really choose, and these ones are the ones to study, basically. So people from here, after nine years, basically usually do three years of an education, an additional education, already a practical education, for example, learning to be a baker at a bakery. And then they basically begin to work and then they can, so this is kind of the basic level, but they can also do kind of a, within job, they can reach mastery, basically. It's the same concept, I guess, all around the world. So now for these people, people from Realschule, there is, there are two options, basically. The first one is also to get into a job, maybe to have a little bit of more of an Ausbildung, which is the thing it is actually called. It is literally the word for education. So this thing that actually gets you into the job for three years is basically an apprenticeship. And it is called Ausbildung in Germany. And the whole thing here is also called Ausbildung in Germany. So the whole thing, the whole system. It's basically Ausbildung, education. So now what we have here is they can also have three years but what people from here also can do, because they are kind of in the middle position, what they also can do is something similar to gymnasium. So after the 10 years, they are not choosing these three years, but instead after the 10 years, they are choosing two additional years. And then these two additional years are kind of equivalent to the gymnasium, to the last years of gymnasium or gymnasium. So what this gets you then is access to middle universities, you could say. So in order to understand this, let's first discuss gymnasiasts, gymnasts, basically. <laughs> so these already have 12 years. So these are already also significantly older. If you think about people coming out from here, they might be maybe 15, 16, 17. People from here might be a little bit older and people that come out from here are usually 17, 18, 19, depending on when they were actually brought into school and so on. So now these people are basically on the slate already for university. And for university, what we have to understand is there are two different universities. The first are called Fachschulen oder Fachoberschulen. So this is basically a university that is a little bit more real, a little bit more applied. 
which is also the reason they are called Hochschulen or Hochschulen für angewandte Wissenschaft or Wissenschaften. So basically a university for applied science. But the word university is also used for the universities actually. So we have both and the over the umbrella term for both is Hochschulen. And the higher thing that is usually also more abstract and kind of more free and less school-like is called university, just like university all around the world. And the thing that is a little bit more practical is called now Hochschule für angewandte Wissenschaften oder Fachoberschule. So it's basically dedicated to one subject or a little bit more applied. And so I will write down these terms. Now, here is the trick. If you are coming from the middle school, the Realschule, with two additional years you can exit, can get access to this. There might also be a workaround to actually get into universities and maybe apply a little bit differently. But with this school, what you get already after doing this school with 12 years, you get Abitur or Allgemeine Hochschulreife, which is called a um, general mm, reaching, having reached the standard for basically all, all, all upper schools, you could say. So basically, people from here can choose. People from here don't even have access to universities unless they do two additional years. And people from here also could potentially get, there is an additional lane. If you are on here after the nine years, you switch to a middle thing that actually kind of is the 10th year. And then you are basically on here, on this track. And then if you are on this track, you can also get on the the track for then these schools. So basically, even if you finish this school, you can still get into this school basically, or do the additional year for this school, which of course might be harder potentially. And then you can additionally do the additional thing and then go here. This might take a little bit longer than going directly straight to gymnasium or gymnasium. So basically, this is the free ticket. If you enter gymnasium, then you can basically do anything. You can also apply to the jobs mentioned earlier, which are usually slated for the ones from Hauptschule or now Mittelschule, which is now called Mittelschule, obviously. Uh, I just used the old terms because they are just used still, kind of. And also, I just think it makes a little bit more sense when explaining these, because otherwise everybody would be confused why the middle school is called middle school, at least historically, but now the school that is not the middle school is also called middle school or Mittelschule. So, university. If you want to get to university, go to your elementary school. So the easy path, not easy in terms of how easy the education is, but if you just reduce the complexity here, university, go to elementary school for four years, then go to gymnasium. And after year 12, you can go to university. If you want to have an apprenticeship, then you go to elementary school and then you go into your apprenticeship, usually for three years, might be sometimes four, maybe sometimes two, maybe sometimes five. For example, people from here could do sometimes an apprenticeship in two and a half years or three years, also common. So basically they can shorten the period, assuming that they might get a few things faster and so on and so forth. If you are here, you can either also get a job basically right away and start an apprenticeship or you can try to be one of these but not fully at first at least but then you can study at these universities or you do this additional layer which then gets you even on the track of getting the Allgemeine Hochschulreife, Hochschulreife the common university uh, I just looked up the word it is here called General Higher Education Entrance Qualification in Europe. So basically there is another word that literally translates to this. And you then have access to these schools, but you can also do an additional track that basically then means that you are similar to people from gymnasium. You basically completed gymnasium then now, and you can also enter these schools. And that's the entire German school and education system.